Shalom brothers and sisters. Welcome to another video. Uh, brothers and sisters, I finally put together that free food playlist. And this is to help some of you to get started with your own home garden. If you have a house or even if you have an apartment. And so please come and check out this playlist. This is an easy playlist to start off a, um, a small garden to get you used to it or at least started um growing uh, i'm also going to be trying these things here <clears throat> after i talk to my apartment complex about what i can grow here so be sure to talk to your apartment complex or if you're renting a house talk to the owner or the rental agency to see um if if that's doable at that house so what type of rules and regulations you have to follow while trying to grow because they have a right to protect their properties brothers and sisters so remember that don't just assume you just have the right to do whatever you want to do on somebody else's property so uh, do the right thing do the righteous thing talk to them first uh, follow their rules and regulations if, if, if it's your own house then yeah go ahead and do your thing, but check with the city as well. Check with the city ordinances, uh, their laws about growing food at your own house. So, and also check with the county if you're um out in the urban areas somewhere. You know, you might want to check with the county as well <clears throat> because um. Depending on how far you dig down, you could hit some pipeline or some um, sewer line or something like that. You, you got to know where those things are before you start digging. Now, there is a emergency dig number. I think it's 211 before you dig. <clears throat> Call that number. If not, dial 411 and I'm pretty sure they will guide you to who to call before you get the digging and you know what I mean so you want to be safe and check check things out and do things correctly don't just assume brothers don't ever assume that you you can do this you can do that oh it's all right it's fine to dig right here you don't know you might dig and, and destroy something you know what I mean so I always keep that in mind keep righteousness in your mind and your heart before you make decisions and uh, consult the most high on which way to go and how to do this. And he will lead and guide you into all truth. So uh, part of that leading guidance is actually doing things decently and in order. Write down your plans. Write down the questions you need to ask. Okay, and then, then follow that list out. And any more questions pop up, you write those down and you get those answers answers uh answered and then move forward so this is a nice little starter list get you started uh wait a minute this is not supposed to be here <laughs> okay i put this in the wrong list y'all but anyway i'll move that later um this is a very interesting video y'all need to really look up this Graphene oxide and graphene hydro oxide as well. Very interesting information they're finding in stuff that they're, you know, trying to put inside of you. But anyway, uh, check out this playlist. So it's a nice playlist, bro. It says, oh, that ain't supposed to be there either. <laughs> I know how y'all do. You want to save something to a playlist and you may not pay attention and then it just pops into some other list. You go looking for it and you don't know where it's at. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, check out this playlist, brothers and sisters. Um, even though time is short, brothers and sisters, even if we don't know how long we got, it could be five more years could be 10 more years before the Messiah popped that sky. But until then, 
You can follow these instructions of the Most High if you have a house or an apartment or whatever. <clears throat> Build you houses and dwell in them and plant gardens and eat the fruit of them. So why was the Most High telling us this? When you are carried away captive, when you're carried away captive, build houses, dwell in them, plant gardens, and eat the fruit of them. And he says, take wives, beget sons and daughters. Take wives for your sons and give daughters to your husbands. To the husbands. That you may bear sons and daughters, that you may not be diminished in the land, brothers and sisters. And also you are to seek the peace of the city that you may have peace. This was a commandment while you're in the land of your captivity. Now it says Babylon here, but y'all know we're in the daughter of Babylon right now. This still applies. And, and now we can see the reason why the Most High told us to do these things. So that you always be prepared. You would always have a house, your own land. You always have food growing on your own land. You always have water. Of course, you're going to need water. to. Um, if you have a garden, you got to water the garden. So either depending on where, where your house is built, uh, you would either have a dug well or have some type of rain catching system like gutters where it goes into a container of some sort in the backyard where you can store up all the water and water your plants and have water for your home without depending on uh let's say the city and um uh, there are ways that you can also uh, provide free energy for yourself or at least produce energy for yourself without the need of the power company and of course there are many ways to produce heat for your home that y'all can explore brothers and sisters so the most high wanted us to be self-sustainable in the lands of our captivity if it is possible it depends on the level of captivity now we went into different levels of captivity over the years since we left our, well, kicked out of our land and caught by different nations and taken to their lands um, to either live or to be their servants or even to be their slaves. Those are the three different levels of captivity. So here in America, we mostly are servants because we, we become their employees mostly unless we start our own company and then we hire people. And then um, <clears throat> you can hire your own servants. But, of course, at one period of time, we were slaves where you wasn't getting paid and you was getting whipped and beaten and, and, and just killed for looking at your master or, or uh, dropping an egg on the floor, beat to half the death for making a mistake. You know what I'm saying? So there was there's always been different levels of of our captivity <clears throat> throughout all the world. There's, there's areas where we were free, but we were poor and couldn't come together in those areas to, to grow. Uh, or somebody else had to come on, you know, and take the reins like, um, the colonizers. And, um, you at least were free to be poor in those areas. <laughs> and then some of us actually made it out because, you know, you played ball with the colonizers in those areas in Africa. And in some cases, you were still in hard bondage over there. And they would cut off your hands and and all type of things, do all manner of evils and, and catch you and sell you to um, to the to those in the east. And to those in the West. So we had different levels of captivity, brothers and sisters. And depending on the severity of it, um, the Father gave you a way to, you know, 
especially if you were following his ways. He would open up doors for you to build houses, buy your own land, grow your own food on it, and have water and provide for you and your family. You know what I'm saying? So the Most High has indeed um, taken care of us at Depending on what different level we was on, he still preserved us and kept us and increased us in the lands of our captivity. So go in and check out this um, free food playlist, brothers and sisters. And also go to the link in the description box below and check out this playlist. And... uh. Decided to just go ahead and leave the link, direct link to this playlist. You really need to go check this out, brothers and sisters. This is the other part of the story that's not being told and not allowed to be told on certain platforms out here. So you have to go to these different platforms. I'm going to leave a direct link. If you want to subscribe to my um, bit shoot. I'm not certain if you can do that because I don't have no videos uploaded to this bit shoot. I just built it a playlist based on videos that I've seen on here. And if you want to subscribe there, that's fine. Because uh, I'm going to be uploading videos here as well. As soon as I get around to getting started, um, I will upload videos on bit shoot. And I will announce it on this particular channel, Son of the Most High channel, whenever I do upload a video here. And uh, it's going to be a video that I cannot upload to YouTube. Or I am definitely would get a strike or some type of uh, be put in YouTube jail. So, uh, the videos that I can't post here, I will post on here. And that goes for um, even the Almighty Ministry channel, which I haven't come back to that yet and started waiting on the clearance from the Most High. And uh, when that happens, then I'll, I'll be posting all of um, the ministry stuff there. And um, <clears throat> any videos that I post that can't be posted on Y'all Mighty Ministries channel on YouTube, I would um, probably post on another, either on this BitChute channel or another BitChute channel. I'll, I'll have to see on that one. But brothers and sisters, we are at a time. <laughs> unbelievable time and uh, I'll do another video about um, the times we are in crucial critical times so with that I'm going to say shalom y'all pray for me I'm praying for you and I'll see you on the next video <laughs>